can't control themselves. Come here. Van afuera. Hey, ¿a dónde vas? They are castigados. They are going outside. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and me too. Thanks for joining us. My name is Melissa Barrera, and I play Lynn Hernandez on Vida. And I'm Michelle Prada, and I play Emma Hernandez on Vida. And what is Vida? And what is Vida? Vida is <laughs> what is Vida? <laughs> it's a show about two second generation Mexican American sisters, Emma and Lynn. I did Emma and Lynn. Emma. <laughs> Season three, we come in with the bar full throttle, full speed ahead. For so long, I was embarrassed about our bar, but we're building something here. It's a sexy season, as usual. Lots of musical acts. And romance. Lots of drama, because we love the drama, because we like the cheese me. And that's why we're here today. We're here for cheese me, Mish. We're going to listen to some chisme from real families. There's real shit out there. That people have voluntarily Ooh. submitted for us. This is not my drama. This comes straight from the people talking about their families. Thank you for letting us in on all your family's dirty laundry. All right, well, I hope you're ready for some serious dehydration and an existential crisis. Story one, these are anonymous. Ugh. Well, that's a, that's a way to be brave. Okay. My grandparents have lived in the U.S. for the past 30 years. When my grandma passed, my 84-year-old abuelito randomly left for Mexico. No phone, no money, no luggage. So he just like wow. straight up found. He was he like, bye. 84-year-old. <laughs> Turns out he left in search of a new wife to take care of him. What? Straight up. He didn't tell anybody about his plans. We found out because my family began receiving <laughs> phone calls from friends and relatives who were spotting him all over Mexico. And then within a week, my abuelo called my dad to come get him. No wife. Mission failed. Wait, so he did him though. He did all that in a week. Like, so he wasn't even like, oh, I got my eye on a little lady. He's just like, I want, he went on a vision quest to Can find. Can we make this into a movie? Because this is pretty epic. Finding Abuelo. All right, you ready for another one? All right, so apparently my bisabuela's true love died before she could marry him. Oh, she eventually ended up marrying one of his cousins, but she remained bitter about the whole thing. So when they got married, this lady cursed her whole bloodline. <laughs> she claimed that if she couldn't be with her love, nobody would be. And let me tell you, that curse is real. Most of my family is still single. The brujeria is real, y'all. All of these people that shared their stories with us could use a good limpia. One for you, a limpia for you. You get a limpia, you get a limpia. A couple of years ago, two of my cousins got in a really big fight. Rosa decided to date Marta's ex-boyfriend. Ooh, breaking girl code. But a year later, Marta took the opportunity for revenge. She started selling all of Rosa's clothes around town. <laughs> Rosa was seeing all the local girls on Facebook with her outfits. She confronted Marta and started a huge fight between both families. So now my uncle and aunt don't talk to each other, all because of an ex-boyfriend. This feels like the reason that Romeo and Juliet's family like started that huge fight, all because of an ex-boyfriend and the closet. Can't mess with girls' clothes. I can imagine the sequence like, walking down the street being like, oh, I have that shirt. Wait, are those my pants? What? what? <laughs> well, thank you for the cheese man, me too. Very enjoyable, grade A, five out of five, recommend. But if you didn't get your fill on cheese man and family drama, tune in April 26th on Stars and the Stars app to watch Vida. You're gonna love it. This Sunday. Wait. Hey. Oh, wait. Uh, wait. <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? Sorry, me. Uh, I gave him the I gave him the code for the Zoom meeting. You know where Liz at? Johnny's gonna be at. <laughs> <laughs>